Alright, I have a plan this time. My partner is the one who conti continuously dies when he gets too close, so I'm planning on setting my partner's ability to get the fuck away. Uh, that way Moltres can't hurt my partner, and that way I can just mud slap this bitch. And if I die, then at least it's not because my partner got targeted with a move that would kill it instantly. So, let's, first things first, tactics, get away, that's the nicest way to put it, Ozzy, just get away, just go, and then let me mud slap, and if I miss, I miss, if I fail, I fail, but this is literally my only option right now. Unless I have to go back to the start of Mount Blaze and do all that again, which, I'm gonna be completely real, I do not want to do again. That was a very miserable time. Alright, let's see how much water, water Gun does. 30. Okay, not terrible. Let's slap again. Nice, that missed. I'm grateful for that. That's gonna hit. It missed. Okay. Oh, no. I'm a little bit concerned now. Obviously, of course I am. Mud slap again. I'm not doing a lot of damage, but Moltres is missing me a lot, which is nice. I've got, what, two more mud slaps? Please don't do that. That's really uncomfortable. That's gonna hurt me. Mud slap one more time. Now it comes down to the gods. It is completely down to whether the gods want me to win or lose. Come on. You know, the agility really isn't actually helping Moltres all that much, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. This is definitely my best run. I don't think I'm gonna win. I think it's gonna get a lucky hit on me. But at the same time, I'm happy with the run that I'm doing. Obviously, I'm a little bit nervous, because I know one, one hit from any of his major moves will kill me. Like, there's no denying that. It will kill me. Come on. Don't hit me! Final water gun. Hello there everybody and welcome to episode 12 of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team! Ah! Ah! We did it. 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 I didn't even use any fucking items. No items. Moves only run. Under leveled. We pulled that off. Slay. Hello. Anyway, I needed that. Oh, I needed that. I needed that so badly. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> I'm not done. I'm not finished yet. Wait, listen. We're not here to cause trouble. We're here only because we were chased here. You have to realize this mountain isn't the only place that's suffering. Natural calamities are occurring all over the place. We're fugitives now, so we can't do anything, but we want to help other Pokémon that are suffering from these natural disasters. Do you say that sincerely? It's true. Please, believe me. If you think I'm lying, look at my eyes. <laughs> They're just staring at each other longingly. Gah! Ah. Fine. I trust that you aren't lying. Oh, that was scary. It felt like my knees turned to jelly. You may pass. Get through Mount Blaze. And promise me this. Promise me that you will find the cause of the calamities that rack our world. And stop the disasters from sowing more destruction and suffering. Okay. I, I promise. Of course that's not possible right now, but... Yeah. 
We will, we'll get on it, we'll right now, we will get right on it, right now. We're being hunted so we can't get it right away, but we are a rescue team, we'll, we'll investigate what's behind the natural calamities, we swear, I promise, yes, like, just let us go, please. I will hold you to that promise, of course you will. You've made me believe that you will honor that promise, if you do not forget the courage you showed in facing me. Great, okay, just please leave. Is there anything else? No, I was only preparing to take off. Oh, does he need to do that? Farewell. We. Goodbye, Moltres, you piece of shit, you. Oh, oh, that was scary. But I'm glad Moltres understood us, that was key. Anyway, let's get off Mount Blaze ourselves. So we've taken out two of the three legendary birds. Where's the third one? Oh wait, it's coming soon. <sighs> oh, we sure walked a lot. I'm bushed. Let's rest up. Oh, the view's fantastic. Oh, look, Ewan, look over there. See how small Mount Blaze looks from here? We've come a really long way, haven't we? Ewan? Do you remember how hard it was to get across Mount Blaze? Yes, yes I did. I had to farm for the first time. I don't think too many Pokemon can get through there. And then we gave it our all to get out here. Do you know what I'm thinking? We've come so far. Maybe there aren't any Pokemon that can get to us. I'm gonna give us a bit of positivity. I thought so. You think so too, Ewan, right? Yeah, you're right. There can't be anyone else. <laughs> Alright, we can say goodbye to living like fugitives. We don't have to keep running anymore. <laughs> Oh, that's some positivity right there. Uh, and then he remembers Alakazam's team exists. It's no good, Ewan. We've forgotten some tough customers. It's Alakazam's team. They'll keep chasing us wherever we go. Uh, yep, we don't have a choice. We have to keep going. I think we need to go somewhere no one else can get to. Let's be positive and keep moving. Huh? What's the matter? Aren't you coming, Ewan? Huh? Am I tired? They're chasing us down. We can't afford to rest. And I told you already. I said I would go with you, Ewan. Oh, come on. No need for that long face. I'm fine. Let's go, Ewan. I'll go wherever you go. I like how my character's actually like, are you tired? Are you concerned? Like, I feel like out of all of the, all of the games, I feel like they've made it a habit to show that our, our player character is concerned for our partner's well-being in that sort of sense, uh, a lot better than some of the other ones. And so Ewan's harrowing journey continued, seeking refuge in even harsher places. They fled north, to the wall, where the White Walkers are. They crossed row upon row of mountains, forted fetid swamps, scaled frozen cliffs, till finally Ewan's tiny team arrived in a world of snow. A frigid wasteland of driving blizzards. Yeah, now we're in a uh, uh, part of the part of the the level that once again is not favorable to Ozzy. Uh, Ozzy just really gets the raw end of the deal on this adventure. Uh, but you know, uh, it's cold. Achoo! Yuck! My nose is running and it's freezing. Isn't this one lonely place? See how deep the snow is? I haven't seen any other Pokemon for a while either. Maybe we're all alone here. Oh, what's the matter? It's Absol. Hi. What's that? Absol, come back, please. What was that? It looked like a Pokemon, but did I imagine that? No, I don't think so. I'm sure there was somebody there. I wonder what they were doing in this lonely place. Well, you know what they say, when you see an Absol, Calamity is soon to follow. I guess thinking about it won't help us. We should keep moving. Oh! Ewan, look! See that? Those trees are frozen! Whoa. Wow. The snow is like frozen powder. It looks pretty, but it must be harsh there. The Frosty Forest. Okay, we don't have a choice. We have to get through this place. Looking at the, um, 
Looking at the map. So, tell me, where are the fetid swamps we went through past Mount Blaze towards this forest? I don't see them on the map. It'll be horribly cold. I'd rather not go if I didn't have to. But hiding out in this area isn't the answer either. We can only go forward. We'll just have to keep our spirits up and keep going, Ewan. Alright, let's take a look at some... Oh my god, items. Wait. Oh my god, items! Actual item. I'm very emotional. We haven't had actual items in like 50 years. It's been so long <laughs> since I last had an item in my inventory. You have no idea, game. Alright, we have got basically nothing. Frosty Forest. Let's actually go for the actual dungeon. It's gonna be freezing cold, but let's try our best. I don't remember what to actually expect in this area, but I feel like we might at least have a better chance together fighting. Oh, right, I need to change Ozzy's um, uh, tactic back to let's go together, because otherwise he's just gonna run the fuck away. And that's 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 a little bit, a little bit iffy. Don't think I really want Ozzy running away right now. That really wouldn't help. Hit it, Ozzy. Good boy. Oh, hey, there's the stairs. So, this is another forest dungeon with a boss fight. If you guys couldn't guess from the snow theme, yes, we are in fact going to be fighting the majestic Articuno. I don't remember if we have help at all, but... Yeah, we're definitely going to be fighting uh, Articuno at the end of this 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 dungeon. And I, I feel like Articuno might be a bit easier, I'd like to say. I don't really remember what his moveset's all about. Oh, we just got killed by Fury Swipes. It's too early for this. I'm not ready for all- I'm, I'm really not ready for this. To lose all my items again because of fucking Fury Swipes. But yeah, the game gets really brutal from this point on. Like, it's just- I'd say the moment you get past the ancient canyon or the great canyon, the game just like hits this crazy difficulty spike that arguably is extremely difficult to progress through. Because even if you're like fighting all the Pokemon in your way, uh, like on all the missions prior and doing any mission you can, you will still find yourself under leveled when you go on this mission. I think it's just really bad uh, difficulty design. And that's just- that's just my genuine opinion on the matter. Uh, that being said, this dungeon arguably should be easier than Mount- well, I say it should be easier than Mount Blaze, but Mount Blaze was easy because I had a type advantage. But in a way, this one should be easier simply because there's less Pokemon that are just gonna one-shot us based on type advantages. But then we have those fucking Furrets who are able to knock us out anyway. Because of Fury Swipes, which is just a bullshit move in general. So really, I don't know how to feel. And also the fact that I've missed two attacks now. Great. Oh, you're scared. You're scared, are you? That's so sad. Oh, no. Oh, that's absolutely tragic. I'm so sorry you're scared. I bet you were the one who Fury Swiped us before. Or at least the Zuril's, they, they basically don't do any damage. They're free experience. They're like candy. Like taking candy from an Azuril. Ooh, a Max Elixir and a Norenberry. Thank you. I don't remember seeing what we uh, actually have in our box, by the way. I, I don't remember if we have anything decent. So I need to take a little look. We have, we have our Gravel Rock still. For me, the Gravel Rock is so important simply because it is a really good weapon, basically, against uh, tougher foes. Especially in big rooms like this, so I'm really glad that we didn't lose all of that. I would have been very, very demoralized if we had. Alright, my guess would be that this is where the- yeah, this is where the stairs are. Just gonna try and avoid any furrets that I see. I don't want to fight them. Oh, this is a really weird forest. It's like forest and lakes and... It's got a very, very interesting color palette to it. I really like it. Oh, a ditto! Hi! Hey! Oh no. It's a little bit concerning. A little bit terrifying, to be honest. Oh, but Ditto doesn't have any uh, moves he can do. He can only struggle. 17 experience point. That was not worth the, the experience. What? 
What's the point in having Ditto if they don't give you any, uh, experience? Oh, hello. A link b Ooh, okay. A marvelous box that enables the user to link and delink moves. Linked moves become separated if the combined PP drops to zero. Ooh, I'm tempted. Mud slap and water gun link. Ooh, honey. But then mud slap and growl. I think mud slap and growl is definite. Does this link box just stay in our inventory? No, it's gone. I think that is a really good uh, uh, link. Because now I can mud slap, but I, I, can, I can take away accuracy and I can take away uh, attack, as, uh, attack power as well, which is really going to be really good against bosses uh, coming up, I'm sure. So I'm pretty happy with that overall. I think that was a very good choice to, uh, to get. Excuse me, can you not? Sir? Sir? We're just trying to survive, sir, and you're in the way? Oh? Someone has intruded upon the forest. The enfeebled flow of icy winds is the intrusion to blame. It must be stopped. For it is to protect the forest. Oh no. That's uh, a little bit on the concerny side. I've got to say. Pretty sure that's Articuno. I'd like to say that's Articuno who's uh, a little bit moody there. A little bit pointing things out. Articuno's all like... This world is probably going to end because someone decided to step inside my forest. Grr. I don't get these legendaries. They're legendary Pokemon, but they have the, the common sense of an, like a gnat. They're just like, oh, someone's come into our forest. Clearly they're a problem. They must be murdered. They don't give us any real chance to like explain ourselves anytime we end up going near their territory. It's ridiculous. They just kind of assume that, like, we're the problem when we're not. And really, I feel like they just need to kind of get a clue, to be honest. Because right now they have none. There is no clue. There is only confusion. That being said, we're getting very lucky with the stairs here. I'm not going to complain. This is when everyone's like, Well, oh, Billy, you're complaining about, like, not leveling up, and then you just go to the stairs every time and you don't explore the floor. It's like... I like getting through the dungeons as quickly as possible. It's my playstyle. Oh no, your evasion rose. Too bad it's not really going to help you because you got tackled. Uh, hello again, Snow Run. No, 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 uh, eat the- Oh, I forgot, I have to throw orange berries in this one. Oh shit, okay. Oh no, don't hit Ozzy, don't hit Ozzy, don't hit Ozzy, don't hit Ozzy, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 I don't want to die. Alright, Ozzy, turn off pound, turn off quick attack. Only use that, I'm gonna use water gun. We need to hit. I'm cringing. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. Alright. I need to live. So let me just do that. And then Ozzy. I'm gonna throw this at you. Please don't catch it. Please eat it. Thank you. Okay. We're alive. We're okay. We're alright. Don't fuck with the snow runs. I've learned my lesson. Wow. I'm gonna write it if I had died before the checkpoint. Ooh. I would have been... Pissed. Oh, okay. All right, let's keep moving. I'm assuming this is only going to be like three to five floors long. Same as uh oh, blue gummy. That's perfect for me. Same as the uh the other bird dungeon areas. I could be wrong though. It's probably going to turn into one of those um. You can only actually uh get blue gummies on these floors. And it's going to be great for me. It's going to be miserable for Ozzy. And miserable for me, the player. All 
Alright. So my assumption is that the third floor is going to be the boss. But this one, I would, wouldn't be surprised if in this dungeon they kind of made it just a little bit longer. Maybe floor four or floor five would be the boss this time. Could completely see that happening. Nice one, Ozzy. I should switch back Pound on at least for you. Oh, another blue gummy. Yep, this is definitely the equivalent of what we just went through in Mount Blaze. For people who pick up on environmental cues like that, this is the the cue. Alright, yep, it is longer. I'd like to say it's five floors instead of three. Or maybe it's three floors instead of four. You know what I mean. Like, the boss will either be the next floor or the floor afterwards. Alright, boss is next floor then. There's no way it's any longer than this. There's just no way. I don't see it happening. Because these floors are just meant to prepare you for the, uh, for the boss fight ahead. But this is a lovely place to go and get water gummies, I've got to say. Yep, here we go. Oh wow, a place that looks like we need to fight something in. We sure have traveled far into this forest. I think we'll be out if we can get through this part. It shouldn't be far. Let's keep going. Huh? You and did you just say something? I didn't think so. I thought I heard a voice. I must have imagined it. Turn back. You may not pass. <laughs> Who's there? You are forbidden to pass. If you persist in trying to pass, then so be it. But only after you have defeated me. Here he comes. Ah, oh, it's too bright! The ice around us is reflecting this light. Hi, Articuno. I am Articuno, the Warder of Ice. Those that enter this forest, I shall destroy with all my might. Let us begin! Alright, let's fight. First things first. Ozzy, I think we're gonna have to go with the exact same tactic we used on Moltres. So, get away. Because you'll probably die to whatever, like, powdered attack this guy can throw at us the moment, the moment things go south. So, let's use my linked move. And let's hope that my linked move is actually decent enough to, uh, I guess keep us alive for a little bit. You know what, Ozzy, come back, actually. That'd be a great idea. You know what, you, you should actually come and fight. Like, it would be a bit more interesting. Let's go together. I'm actually going to walk back a little bit. And then I'm going to growl and mud slap again, because I have no way of healing myself, so I've just got to kind of hope that this is working. Attack Ozzy. Yeah, attack Ozzy. Don't attack me. Attack Ozzy, please. Ow. Oh, no. Uh, I have no way of healing myself. This is a problem. This is a real problem. We have nothing. All I can do is just lower Articuno's accuracy a bit more. Ooh. I could use Water Gun and see how much damage that does with the... Yeah, 59. With with my critical attack. Because of the... Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, yeah, okay, cool. Okay, Articuno doesn't seem that bad, though. Like, Articuno was, seemed a lot more willing to kind of just use normal attacks as opposed to crazy one-shot kill attacks. So I could potentially kill Articuno, I think I could. But I think I'll save that for the next episode, because this episode's been going on for a little while. So, uh, Articuno's tough, but why are we forbidden from entering this forest? It makes no difference, Ewan. Let's try our best. Alright, so thank you for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.